A POLICE SAY A KANSAS CITY WOMAN IS RECOVERING AFTER A BRUTAL TWO-DAY ATTACK. Well, THEY SAY A MAN TRAPPED HER AND TORTURED HER INSIDE HIS HOME, BUT SHE MANAGED TO ESCAPE. ZACH TECKLENBERG SPOKE WITH THE NEIGHBOR WHO HELPED HER. ZACH. THE 48-YEAR-OLD WOMAN TOLD uh, INVESTIGATORS THAT SHE CLIMBED OUT A WINDOW WHEN THE SUSPECT WENT TO GET FOOD LEAVING THIS HOME ON LAST SATURDAY AFTERNOON. NOW THAT MAN IS 56-YEAR-OLD Kerry J. CLARK. HE WAS ARRESTED YESTERDAY AND CHARGED WITH FORCIBLE SODOMY, TWO COUNTS OF ATTEMPTED FORCIBLE RAPE, AND ONE COUNT OF KIDNAPPING. HE'S BEING HELD ON A $150,000 BOND. THE WOMAN TOLD DETECTIVES SHE MET UP WITH CLARK FOR A DATE LAST THURSDAY AND THAT HE CLAIMED HE FORGOT HIS CREDIT CARDS INSIDE THE HOME AND INVITED HER INSIDE. THAT BEGAN two days of torture, according to the woman. She says he threatened to kill her after she refused sex, that he beat her, and that he repeatedly used a stun gun on her. She even says that he was smoking PCP throughout much of the ordeal and that he had taped her mouth shut. She escaped Saturday and ran down the street wearing just a sheet, and she went to the home of Booker Brinkley. He and his wife gave her a shirt, gave her some food, and called police while she told them about everything that had happened. I think it's pretty deep. I don't think a person should capture uh, uh, anyway, torture a person anyway. The woman was taken to Research Medical Center and treated for her injuries. We're live at 6 60th and Agnes in Kansas City, Missouri. Zach Tecklenburg, 41 Action News.